All right, so here's a little miracle after another shed. And we call it a miracle because um, due to the load shedding, we just had a whole bunch of slugs, some stillborns, and one little baby. So we're just going to kit her out now. So she's got a bit of poop on her tail. She had a nice shed, a good poop. And she's pretty feisty. Got her in a very basic setup. So this is their upgrades. So have a little moss that they can hide into. Also nice for humidity. They're a little hide on the hot spot, a little water bowl and paper towel. Very, very basic in the beginning. Uh, when As they get older, we can put them onto some nice uh, substrate, go bioactive with some of the albinos. But yeah, for now, just trying to keep it nice and simple. And I think we're going to have to give you a little wishy-washy on your tail, girl. It's all dirty. Cease. All right. Now, she is super intense. She's like the wildest puff at her. I'm surprised she's actually sitting so nice and gentle. Hopefully, with time, she's going to chill out nicely. Because she's normally full-on go. Yeah, we definitely want to wash her tail because that all that poop on her tail can also dry her scales and could uh, affect her tail. So we're just going to give her a nice little soak, I think. Yeah, you're calming down, girl. It's funny you touch a gaboon on their bodies, they get all hissy and stuff. And obviously touching a snake on the head is never advisable. You give them little head rubs. Obviously a head is a very shy part of a snake because animal will attack it, so they like to protect it. But the funny thing was a lot of the gaboons, I mean you can see she's shying away a bit, but there's no huffing and puffing when you touch on the head. Always best to obviously come from underneath, so they feel more contact with the ground. But I'm just trying to get her used to me, there's no danger. Yeah, not the best lighting we're working with, but she is quite pretty. This little girl, she can do flick flacks. She is pretty darn intense. All right, so I think we need to give her a little soaking quickly. I normally keep some water at room temperature so that it's not a massive shock to their little systems. And then you also don't want to have water too warm for an animal. Like if you can feel it warm, we, we, you know, we're 36 of degrees in, in our core, which is very warm. So even if your hand is quite warm and you feel the water, it can often be too warm for the animal. And that can be very, very stressful and even overheat them if they're already warm. So just room temperature water is fine, especially for gaboons. They don't need very high temperatures for basking and things like that anyway. Oh, okay, girl. And then also... Giving them a little bath like this. If they're thirsty, then they can often have a little drink. She's very edgy now. And then we'd also swim them from time to time. But this girl, I mean, she's just taken a poop. So we're not going to bother her too much. It'll just be nice if she starts to drink. And then we can get that little tail clean. So I'm just going to let that tail soak a little bit. And then we can actually spray some water on there to try and clean it. And hopefully she comes nice and clean. I suspect she's not going to like this at all. Let me just start from afar so it's not too startling. Oh yeah, ooh, that's nice. <laughs> ah, look at that. All right, girl. Dad's just trying to help you. It's like an old lady. Go for a poop and then need a bee day. There we go. All right. Cool. So that's now a nice clean tail. Also a little poop. Was that some moss? That's just a piece of mossy. Don't suck water in your nose. Sometimes they actually suck water in through their nose. First time that happened, I was freaking out because, I mean, you can imagine them ha inhaling water. That's like drowning. But they make a funny noise and then they're fine. 
get that spit some of it out, and then there's no problems. So I'm filming all over the place. But yeah, she hasn't she hasn't struck out at me once, so I'd say we're winning here. I think she's slowly but surely going to calm down as she gets bigger and more confident. I don't know what she looks like if we put the flash on. Yeah, not the best lighting here. Cool, so just some little handy tips on gaboons. I uh, definitely need to get around to doing a care sheet or a care video on gaboons.